Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are back on Full Craft today. This is episode 17. It's pretty awesome that we've made it this far. Um, so, hey, glad you're here. If you're liking this series, please click that like button. Let me know in the comments what you think. I know it's been a little bit since the last video and that's because of the vanilla 1.13 has come out. So, yeah, you know, it, it, we'll, we'll keep doing this for a little while, I think. Um, there we go, get this charged up. So for today, I have a couple of things that I wanted to talk about, and I'm going to talk about the first one first while just, you know, sitting around in this room, not really working on anything yet. And that is, I have been asked to go to Minefair, F-A-I-R-E, Minefair.com, at uh, Chicago, September 8th and 9th, to a convention there in Chicago. If you go to Minefair.com, you can find out the details about that. So I will be there. I will probably have a table set up, and I would like to meet all of you who uh, who are out there who want to uh, meet me. So um, if you're in the area of Chicago and you want to take a look and you know maybe have a little talk with me or whatever, it'd be great to see you. So again, mindfair.com. It's on September 8th and 9th in Chicago. Uh, the details are on the website. Okay. So hope to see you there. All right. Now the second thing, and this is the one that I'm have to talk to you about is that uh, looking at the server logs nobody's really been on to be honest for almost three weeks it's been myself when I've been on doing a video it's been myself when I did a stream um, and Kent came on for the stream uh, I think Thomas was on for about 10 minutes but really no one else has been on and that's to be expected because everybody is on uh, the vanilla server right now that's kind of where the uh, enthusiasm is at but that's okay you know it's still here so um, there's not a lot that I want to do with this series at the moment while people are away. There's no point in making big bases and elaborate things, but no one else is going to see it. So I thought instead what we're going to work on while we wait to see if they come back is the advancements. There are all these advancements that you can get. So we're going to start to work on these in just a moment. I'm not sure which one. We'll pick it out in just a second. All right. Let's just go with this first one here see how it goes. Advancements Ender I.O. Conduits. And it looks like we've done most of these, but we're missing these three here. One of them is making a basic fluid conduits and some pressurized fluid conduits, okay? So a lot of this stuff will be easy because we have lots of materials. So let's do fluid conduit and see what we have here. Basic fluid conduit it would probably be this right here. We'll see if we can make some of those. There we go. Let's just put it in our inventory, see if it gives us there. We get that. And then we have to make the pressurized ones. And this would be pretty easy. A lot of these achievements will be super easy. There we go. And under pressure. Okay, let's go back to that achievements real quick here. Advanced. When I say achievements or advanced, it's the same thing to me. Oh, we have to do instant fluids. It's ender fluid conduits. I should have known it would be the next one, right? And there's that. Okay, and we got something for it. We got Enderios. Part of a balanced breakfast. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hold shift. Just tells you a bunch of stuff. Okay. Back to advancements. It looks like we're trying to make a craft and advanced item filter. Okay, so let's look that up. Advanced item filter? Or is it advanced big filter? Let's see. Hmm. Is that what it says to do? Is it that one? I keep going to the wrong button here. We've done big item filter. We need the advanced item filter. Okay, so if we look at that again, it takes a Z Logic controller. We got everything else. Z Logic controller is all of that, and that's pretty much everything. Oh, I wanted to grab it. Hold on here. Uh, want that, and we'll put it here. I'm gonna bring it down here so we have it in our inventory. We're gonna go and make that real quick. I think I have the machine right over here. Is it this one? Slice and splice? Yes. Uh, was it this? Like that? There it goes. Okay, be back in a sec. Okay, there is the Z Logic controller. So now if we go into this machine, there is the advanced item filter. And they got that achievement, advancement. Darn, I said it again. And this page is done. It looks like it's done to me. You can have different backgrounds here. Now there's a lot of things here of getting pets. These are the various pets. I know these were removed in a later version of Fullcraft. That's a lot to do. Let's try to skip that for now. What's this? Botania. Ugh, I don't like Botania. 
Certificate of Loyalty. We're just missing Ruby and Sapphire. We have Emerald, so this will come as we go. Adventuring. What do we got to do here? We got Trade with a Villager. Stack Overflow. I don't know what that one is. Discover every biome. Ooh, I wish it would list out the biomes. Summon an Iron Golem to help defend a village. That's pretty easy. So a lot of these we can do. Let's see if there's other things we can do right here. This stuff's in the end. There's more bot Botania and Botania Challenge. What's this? Open a Lexica Botania and have a look through the index. Lexica Botanica. That seems like pretty easy, right? Let's try that. Don't want to look up here. Don't have that one. Grab that. There we go. Well, we got that achievement. Advancement. Uh, make a generating flower and a petal apothecary. Craft a mana. Oh, man. I don't want to go through Botania. But maybe we can do this. You know what? We could do this. We're going to need a room for Botania, aren't we? Um, this room is not great, but we're going to be using it. I don't really need the, this area here for um, what I was working with, with the making concrete. So I will probably just use this instead. Uh, do we have any concrete in here? No. Let's just grab a block. We can get this stuff put away. All our enderios. Let's get rid of this water. Okay, and we're going to clear this out. Let me clear it out. We're going to start some Batania in this room. Everyone knows I do not like Batania. I never really have. Um, but we're going to do this, okay? So if we go back and look at this advancement, it says make a generating flower in a petal apothecary. So let's go look at the petal apothecary here. Let's go over to our machine. Petal apothecary is this device. We're going to grab that. And there we have it. Okay. Now, we're going to put this over here. Okay. So, let's go in the book here. We're going to look at this. It says, this block, when placed in the world and given some water by use of a water bucket, will accept any mystical petals thrown at it, releasing their energies. Once one has inserted the correct petals, throwing some seeds in it will finalize the process. Tossing in a full bucket will also fill the apothecary with water. So, if I do that, there it is. Now it's got water. Okay, so we did that part. That's good. Now we have to figure out these uh, seeds, and we want to get that flower. Um, let's look what that is. It was one of these flowers that looked like a. Um, oh, what does it look like here? Is it one of these? Yes, it's something like one of these here. Where is it? It's like this one here, an endo flame, and you can see it takes brown, brown, a red, and it looks like a light gray to make that okay and some seeds we know we need seeds let's grab some seeds and we have all this botanic stuff from our botano botanic miner so let's see brown look at all this we got all these flowers just you know okay let's grab those and we need a light gray not the tall ones let's get that one and we need red i mean it's so easy with this botanic thing so that's why we're going to do all of these uh advancements right now okay so if i use that is that how you do it or i gotta throw it in there probably and my throw key is messed up okay throw one out there that didn't work uh why is it not working let me stand up here see if i can throw from here <laughs> okay so huh is there an interface here can i stand on it okay let's do that No. Why is this not working now? Let's go back to the book. What does it say? This block when placed in the world will give some water. Once one has inserted the correct petals, throwing some seeds in will finalize the process. Well, how do you get the right petals? Okay, let's go back to this. Look this up again. Oh, that's the wrong thing. We're going to look this up. This is stuff I don't know. It's why I hate it. It just doesn't make any sense sometimes to me uh end of flame brown shimmering mushroom shimmering mushrooms okay so i don't have those those are not hmm mushrooms huh we don't have those shimmering mushrooms 
So we're going to have to get the leaves there. So I'm going to have to actually grow some of these plants to get them. Can I plant these? I can. And let's plant these. Okay, so then... Right? And I think with some shears. Don't, don't you get the petals with the shears? I think we have shears. Let's go look. I'm doing this on the fly, people. <laughs> You're going to be yelling at me like, what are you doing? That, that just gave me the plant back. Hmm. Oh, we grind them up in the mortar and pestle, right? Is that it? Let's try that. Make one of those. I think we got the resources for that. We don't. What? Make a bowl. There we go. Make that. There we go. Okay. So now let me try this here. So we have this. Wow. Just takes the pedals that way. Okay. Tinker is not on his game today. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay. So if we put these. Get this out of the way here. Uh, that. Now do I have to throw them out? Yes. Took two brown, right? That's worked. It's got the little uh, thing above it there. I gotta rebind my keys. I took it off the, my uh, throw key because of the fact I threw my cloud pet in the lava, <laughs> if you recall. Okay, and one of these and one of these. Okay. That, and that, and a seed. And look at that. We just got it. There it is. We got the endo flame. That's awesome. Okay. The next advancement here is Vivid Wade. Crafting mana pool to store mana. I believe this stuff you need to first like get living wood and living rock. And to do that, I think it's called a pure daisy. And I was looking at that here. Uh, pure daisy is four of the white. So let me go get the white here. And I don't have any of those, but I do have these. So let's grab some of those. And let's just do that really quick. And we need some seed again. There we go. Now I did... Oh, I gotta get some water too. Okay, let's get some... Uh, uh, oh, don't throw that out. Uh, let's get a bucket. We have four buckets. Let's get some water here. Okay. There we go. Now I have it set up now with the key properly, so I can throw these in here. I'll put one of those. There we go. And let's get another water one because I want two of these so I can do both of them at the same time. Wood and water. Um, living wood and living stone. And there we go. Okay, so we should have two of these now. Now, as far as I remember, you take wood and you take stone. So let's get some stone. There we have stone. And let's get wood. I believe that's how you do it. Let's just make sure here. Uh, let's get some oak wood, and those can stack, and these can go. Okay, so I believe if you have a flower here, and you put the wood around it, you can kind of see the particle effects going on. Okay, and it'll do the same thing with stone. And there we go. And if we wait, this stuff will turn into living wood and living stone, which is then used for the mana pool. Let's go look at that real quick. Oh, here we go. One of these, which takes living rock, living stone, living rock. Okay, living rock is the pure daisy stone over. So this stuff should change here in a second. And if you haven't seen this, it's kind of cool. The blocks just change colors, change look. This should happen any second here. There they go, they're changing. Stone will happen really quick too, in just a second, there it goes. Like that. Okay, so let's grab the stone first. There we go. And let's put down some more. That way we get some of this production going of this stuff because we don't have that. At least I don't think we do. <laughs> if we do, I should check. We may be getting it from the other resource, but I don't think we do. Let's go check. Uh, yeah, we don't have any in our stock. Okay, so we're going to make the mana pool here. It's right there. And we'll grab it. And there we go. We have a mana pool. I'm going to stick that right over here. Okay, now we've done that achievement. Let's do the next achievement. 
So looking at these, I want to try this one first. Craft any variety of bobble and wear it. And what I'm looking at here, I think I like this one. It's a ring of magnetation. Magnetization. And I believe this thing will, gives us magnetic abilities, which would be kind of cool to have. So we're going to try to craft that. And if you see it takes mana steel, we have those. We're going to have to take one of these. We got all that. So let's see. Can we make that? Yes. Okay. And we'll make that. Yes. And we'll make that. And there we go. Now we have it. We're not wearing it yet. So let's put it on here. And there we go. Inner Arts is done. We've got that achievement. Excellent. I want to test if that thing is working like magnetically. Like the, are we getting the blocks here? Because it doesn't look like it's actually activated. I wonder if there's an activation for it. Oops. Let's see. Let's throw one out there. It's not really moving. You see that? Oh, what? There it went. Okay, so it does work like a magnet. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's really cool. I'm making some more endo flames, and I found this little feature. It's kind of nice when you do this. I'm gonna put this out back bucket out here. I have an empty slot, but when you see here, what you can do is you can just right click, and it will put the same petals that you just used in there. So all they need to do is drop the seed. I didn't actually do any of the petal work here. So I'm just getting up some endo flames for a specific reason, and I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, we want to get mana into here and this is this is why i just don't like this because it seems like a big rabbit hole to get this stuff done what we want is called a mana spreader here let me go back into my uh crafting grid you want to get a mana spreader okay and we need some more living wood and fortunately i made some more let's grab that real quick here okay let me put that into the system there we go a mana spreader okay and this thing you'll want to basically have pointing at uh, the, the mana pool. I'm going to put it right here for now. And we'll move it in a second. Now to change this is where it's pointing, you have to use a wand. Okay? And so we're going to make this wand. Uh, wand of the forest. It takes some yellow petals. I've already done that. And living wood twig. It just takes living wood, which you've already used. And i got to use my crafting grid to do this. And there we go. There we go. Not. Okay, so let's get our twigs. I thought I had more twigs. Maybe I didn't. Okay, we need to get some more living wood. Give me a sec. Okay, just got the wood. Let's make another one of these twigs here for this wand. The wand, there it is, and a twig, and that's what we need right there. Okay, we have three of those. Let's put some of this in the inventory too. There we go. Okay, so now we have this wand, and I'm going to shift right click on it. You can see it's kind of pointing where it wants to uh, spread to. I'm going to shift right click. And you can see it's kind of selected. I'm going to shift right click on there, and that's where it's going to uh, send any mana that it gets. Now, this is a very slow process. Uh, very, very slow, in fact. So now I have these endo flames here. And I've been making these. And I'm going to put these over here. Okay, now these... Oh, I'm converting those things over. Uh, these look like they're kind of already connected to that mana spreader. So if I use this, and I put a piece of coal down here, they should grab it and consume it. There it goes. And it's kind of feeding into here. And then this device will then start to take the mana over into the mana pool. Okay? So if I put this whole stack down there, they'll just start taking it. I got so much coal, I don't care if I if it's wasted. And there they go. Okay? You can see it's going a lot faster. So if we get a couple more mana spreaders, a lot more endo flames, this should generate mana faster. You can see the pool is building up. Let me get this a little bit stronger setup going. While that's working, I'm going to try and experiment because I keep having to get buckets. And I'm curious. And this is just, someone probably already knows this. I'm going to see if I can make, like, for instance, a sink. Which, of course, I don't have any water buckets, figures. But we're going to uh, see if we can do this here. I don't have the water either. Why do I do that? Okay. We're going to make a sink and then see if we can do fluid transfer directly over. If that makes any sense to anybody. It makes sense to me. But, you know, it probably won't work. But we will see. So let's make a sink here. And there it is, a sink. We're going to put that right here. Okay. Now, you can see it's got water in it. Now let's get a fluid pipe. Actually, we just made some today. Let's do use those, right? We made pressurized ender fluid. Let's try that because it's like, you know, mega, right? And it's not working. So let's see. Is there a way to attach it to it? I wonder. Uh, we need a, like a wrench. There's the Ender I.O. wrench. Let's see if we can catch this here. 
Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we're going to have to use buckets. But at least we have the water right here, so that shouldn't take us that much time. Let me make some of those endo flames, like I said I was going to do. And uh, we'll see if we can get this a little bit stronger of mana generation. This is going faster. You click here, click here, do that, hit Q, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm making a bunch of these endo flames. We have seven of them now. We'll give a few more, and then we'll get this all hooked up. All right, I have planted these things down. It's doing a lot better. Now I can put this down. Problem is that magnet bobble is picking it up, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to remove it for now. Oops, wrong thing. There we go. You can see I just grabbed it again from all the way over here. I don't want that. I want this to be out here. I want this to be generating um, as much as we can here. So there we go. See, those are all shut down. They should kick back on once they realize there's the coal there. I would think. Why aren't those on? That's weird. Let's put it right here. I don't know why that would be, but... Interesting. Maybe this thing's full? I don't know. Let's try making another mana spreader and see if that helps any. Okay, this is working. I'm rebinding these to this new mana spreader here. You can see that they... And then when I do that, they kick on. Okay, so we're using this wand here. Shift right clicking on it and then on here. So all those that aren't working, I'll hook it at this one. I did that not work right there. There we go. So that's going to work, I think. As you can see, they're kicking on. Do this one and we'll bind it to this. There we go. And this one right there is not working. We'll put bind it to here. They all look like they're up and running. Just need more coal, so we're going to throw that out here. Here we go, and those two at the end should kick on there. There it goes. Okay, so they're all running now, and this thing should be generating pretty quickly. You can see the pool levels going up. Let's see if I click on it. Does it give me any more stats? Okay, yes. You can see how the little blue bar has gone up. It's nowhere near full. This is going to take a long, long, long time, okay? All right, everybody. I think that's all I have time for today, looking at the time on the clips that I've recorded. So we're going to stop here. This is a good stopping point anyway because we got to wait for this thing to get all the mana. So I can do that while I'm AFK and uh, editing and rendering the video so that we're ready for the next stuff. But to see what we've done here, if you look at the chat, it tells you we've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 different achievements this time which is advancements. I keep saying achievements, and I apologize. So we're, we're getting there. I think this will be a good way for this series and direction for it to go. Um, so we keep it, having fun with it. And maybe here in a week or two, people will start to come back, and we can start doing some pranks on some people. We've already did one, if you recall, on the stream to Candy and Chevro. So Candy and Chevro, if you're watching, maybe you might want to take a look at your base. Anyway, that's all I have time for. Uh, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. Oh, I look silly. I had no idea I looked like that. <laughs> and, uh, yes, of course, if you're new here, please subscribe to this channel. And if you're not new here, please subscribe to this channel. And uh, those subscriptions are doing wonders for my channel. I'm now over 1,000. I'm waiting for the review from YouTube. So hopefully soon we'll get that. I believe I have a dude on my back. Look, it's like Yoda on my back. Isn't that cool? Anyway, everybody, have a great day. Bye-bye.